so if you want to see how I got this makeup look then please keep watching okay so my skin is all moisturized and now I'm going to just prime my eyes I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer this is in the shade medium to light it's medium light neutral Then to set that I'm going to use my RMCA translucent setting powder. I have just put it in a Rimmel London case uh, when I did finish with this. Okay so now that I've primed my eyes I'm going in with the Violet Voss Pro Ride or Die palette. I'm going to use Erica and Leslie to so these two colours here as my transition shade. Then I'm going to go in with Caitlyn. Then on a small tapered blending brush, this one is by Sigma and it's the E45. I'm going to take this colour here which is called Sarah. And then I'm going to go back to this uh, ruby brush that I used at the beginning. I'm just going to go into the colour by Bobbi Brown. This is Camel. Then I'm just going to take the shade Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to blend in these two parts here. Um, so I'm just going to put a bit of lightness there and it will just kind of break it up a little bit. Then I'm going to use this Makeup Forever uh, Style Lip Powder in the number 15. Then I'm going to just get my MAC 242 flat definer brush spray it with a bit of fix plus and then I'm literally just going to dip it into the powder Then I'm just going to go back in, I've not necessarily put any more product on my brush but just to blend out any harsh lines. And then go back in with the colour just to intensify it just a little bit more. Okay so now I'm going to do a winged eyeliner, I will do it off camera because we can never see it anywhere. So. Okay, so now that my eyeliner is on, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. And then cut them with some mascara, which I'm just going to use the Colossal Volume Express Mascara in Cat Eyes. And this is by Maybelline. And then for eyelashes, I'm just going to use the House of Lashes in Iconic. Okay, so I've done so I've done my lashes, eyeliner, and now my brows. So now onto the fix. So 
So I'm just going to use the YSL Touchy Clutch Blur Primer. <laughs> so I'm only going to use a little bit of this. Then just far around here, because my pores are quite big, I'm just going to use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin, skin Equalizer. We're just going to put a tiniest bit on these areas. Then for foundation, I'm going to use the Dior Skin Forever Perfect Makeup Everlasting Wear Pore Refining Effect Foundation. This is in the shade. 031 and um, this is just a smidge too dark so and because I got this and this is just a smidge too light this is the hourglass stick foundation in bisque So basically I've just slapped loads of different foundations all over my face. Then to blend this in I'm going to use the Real Techniques Buffer Brush. Buffer brush. Then for my under eye concealer, I'm just going to use the, is it Maybelline? Maybelline, I think it's Maybelline. I don't know, this thing anyway. I will link all the products down below just in case. Because my eyes crease, my eyes and my forehead crease really quickly. I'm just gonna go back in with that RSCMA translucent powder, and I'm gonna set it as I go along. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the eyes now. Uh, I'm going to take that big fluffy brush that I was using at the beginning. I'm going to go into... Kate, I'm going to go into the shade Caitlyn. Then I'm going to just take a flat definer brush and I'm going to dip it into... Can you see to server? So I'm back in. Then for my waterline, I'm going to just use this 
e.l.f. shimmer eye pencil in well this is just white so <laughs> no okay no i changed my mind i'm gonna go into this laura mercier eye pencil in violet I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes with some mascara. Right, then going back to the face, I'm just going to take this Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Press Powder in a pale yellow, which looks like this. I'm just going to use that to brighten up my under eyes. Then for my highlight, I'm just going to use this Jeffree Star with Manny Skin Fast in Eclipse with a brush. And then as well, I'm just going to go in with this Bobbi Brown highlighting powder in Pink Glow. And I'm just going, I'm going to just mix it all together today and just dab that on where I put the Manny highlighter. Okay, so now for contour, I'm just going to use this Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. This is in the shade. I don't know, I'll link it down the bottom anyways. Then just to bronze up the skin a little bit more, I'm going to use this Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in Sunkissed. Then to make sure there's no harsh lines, I'm just going to use this the Vintage Cosmetic Company like a large stippling brush. Then for blush, I'm going to use MAC Plum Foolery. Foolery. Then for my lips, I'm using this Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. I think this is also a collab with Manny, and this one's called I'm Shook. Then I'm just going to set my makeup with the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!